Tropic Thunder is the hilarious movie starring Jack Black, Ben Stiller, and a very disguised Robert Downey Jr. I really don't have a lot to say bad about this movie. Just go, kick back, relax, and laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we cut? The movie definitely pushes the limits. It's about a group of actors who are dropped in the jungle, but the actors don't know when the acting ends and real life begins. So from there, hilarity ensues. No, 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 man, let me take a look at that map right quick. Why is everybody all obsessed with the map? Because we're tired of being the tram donkeys, acting like you some one-man GPS. And when you team up, Jack Black and Ben Stiller, two comedic powerhouses, and you throw in Robert Downey Jr., who's really known for being a dramatic actor, but it's hilarious in this film. It's a can't-lose situation. Damn it! We lost! We people lost, man! Tell them, McCluskey. Tell them what time it is. I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? Robert Downey Jr. playing a white man who plays a black man is not the only controversy in this movie. The word retarded is used umpteen times, but just be sure, Tropic Thunder is not a PC movie. For 400 years, that word has kept us down. What the? Took a whole lot of time just to get up that hill. Now we up in the big leagues. Kidding, I'll turn it back. Long as it live, it's you and me, baby. <laughs> That's the theme song for the Jeffersons. You really need help. Yeah, just because the theme song don't make it not true. Tropic Thunder is the perfect way to end the summer. We've had huge blockbuster films, but this one is just funny through and through. Go in there, kick your feet up, have your popcorn, but don't be sensitive because this film is not politically correct. Alicia Quarles for AP Movie Week.